Hi, this is your upper body workout and you'll just need a set of dumbbells and a mat. We're going to grab our dumbbells and start there. The first exercise we're going to do, overhead press. For my advanced clients, you're going to take this to a one-legged stand. Ready? Press. Keep those abs in tight. We're going to do 10 with one leg up and then 10 with the other leg up. Exhale up, inhale down. Don't rush through it. Good, switch those legs. Take a moment if you need to. Press. Exhale up. Abs stay in nice and tight, stay stable. That's 17, 18, 19, 20. Good. Now what I want you to do is take those weights down, squat, stick those glutes out, palms face your body. We're going to rotate the palms away and then bring it back into a back row. Ready? One, two. Keep those abs in tight. Glutes are lifting up. Nice flat back. Breathe it out. Exhale as you pull those weights back. I'm going to do 20. Those of you that are advanced can stay with this. If you're a brand new client, you can do between 10 and 15. Also make sure your weights are heavy enough. If you've got a lighter set of dumbbells than we normally use, go ahead and do a few extra reps. Five more. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Good. We're going to take it up and we're going into lateral raises with a pour out the milk rotation. Turn those palms forward, thumbs are up. You're going to lift straight out to the side, pour out the milk, bring it back up and down. Now, if you have a little heavier set of dumbbells, you may want to go down to a five or an eight. I'm working with an eight, it's a little heavy for this. So, I'm going to continue the movement with you in just a moment without the dumbbells. This is five. Good. Keep going. Six. Pour out the milk. Bring it back. You can also start with a heavier weight. Then as you begin to get fatigued, drop it down to that next lower size. If you just have a heavy set of dumbbells, Lower your repetitions here. We're going to go all the way to 15 for those of you that might be already working with a 5 or an 8. Depending on your strength level, you'll also know whether it's burning or not, whether it feels like you can raise those arms all the way. Five more of these. Abs stay in tight. Don't forget that core connection. Four. Three, two more, two, last one, very nice. We're going on to the triceps now. Take those dumbbells, we're going to take it back into that same position, chest out, squat forward, or lean forward from the waist, stick those glutes out, pull those elbows up right by the side, those chicken wings, we're going to press it back, but I want you to go simultaneous, so left, right, left. Right, remember your squeeze, it's not just a swing. Five more each side. Four, three, keep breathing, abs tight. One and one, good. Bring those weights down, stand it up. Going into that cross body bicep curl, palms forward. You're gonna bring it up and over to the opposite shoulder. Remember to keep those shoulders back. Belly button pulled in nice and tight. Squeeze that bicep as you lift. Remember that every motion you need to be working that muscle. Focused on the muscle that we're training. This is your bicep here. Squeeze that bicep as you lift. It's all about keeping that tension on the muscle, not about swinging. 
Not about using that momentum on this one. Make sure you're also breathing. We're gonna do eight more for each side. Keeping those abs in tight, chest is up, shoulders back. Four more, four, three, two, and one. We're heading down to the mat with our dumbbells. Go ahead, have a seat, roll it onto your back. We're going through into chest press. I'm gonna give you some options for this. Knees can remain bent. Arms come here. If you have a stability ball or a bench, go ahead and jump on that. You're gonna press it straight up and back down. Abs pull in, tabletop position legs if you need to make it a little harder. If you want it harder than that, take it all the way up. Round it up over the breastbone. Abdominals pulled in nice and tight, still pressing right over that breastbone. Or right over the chest, I'm sorry. You can also put the feet down and just do the upper body curled up. This is gonna involve the abdominals. Give you a little double whammy here. Keep that belly button pulled in tight, shoulders relaxed. Squeeze through that chest. Remember, this is also your beginning position. If you're getting a little tired, if you're pulling strain into the neck, I don't want you to do that. Now I want you to add a rotation. Rotate the palms in, rotate them away. Squeeze it into the center, bring it back down. Eight more. Remember, you can do that here. Abs need to stay in tight. Don't pull through the back. You can also round up. Same thing. Pick your level. Some of y'all are strong enough to do this one right here. This is fully advanced. Last one. We're going to stay on the mat, but what I want you to do is roll everything down if you were up. Then give yourself a little roll. Put those weights down by the side. We're going to flip all the way over. Put our weights right up underneath our shoulders. We're going to go up into plank and then row alternating sides. Up you go and row. Spread the feet on the mat. Keep those abdominals in. Try not to stick your glutes up in the air. This is a challenge. We're only doing 10. Five on each side. That was six. One more. Good. Bring those knees down. Put one weight to the side. Take the other one. Flip yourself right over. Sit up nice and tall. Belly button in. Hold your weight. Lean back and row. A little abdominal work, little obliques here. Also getting those shoulders involved with the rowing and the rotation. Ten more of these. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Roll it out. One. Good. Bring it up. Place that weight down. Go ahead and roll it up off your mat. We're going to start back over from the beginning. So do that two to three more times for three to four total sets. Have fun.